Yo, Ross McKinley, Stetley Train. Got all my favourite things for arms. Got my assistant Connor. We're going to do a tricep, biceps torture. Six, six, six. So we're going to do six reps on all three exercises. We're going to start off incline curl. So you're going to be back against the pad. Nip your shoulder blades back, arms by your side. Pushing these elbows forward so you get a good stretch in the bottom. Connor's just going to show a couple reps. We're going to two way. Up, control it down over back three. Just going to squeeze his tricep on the bottom and get a full stretch of the bicep. Back up. And then back down. Good. That's his first exercise. Then he's going to go forward into a hammer curl. So he's going to stand up. Shoulder blades nip back. Notice his elbows staying by his side. He's not swinging up. And then just curl me. Two again. And then up. Perfect. Good. And then back down. And then the final one is going to be a cheat curl. So he's going to get the dumbbells on the front. Flip them up. And then control down over four. So what you want to make sure this is, you're not going too high at the top. Make sure it stops about four fifths of the way up. Come up the top here. And then down over four. So shoulder blades on the back. And he's controlling it down. For this one, the elbows are going to travel forward a little bit. Whereas the other two, you want to keep the elbows fixed to your side. For the main working set that I'm going to show you in a minute, it's six reps of every exercise. So you can do 18 reps in total. When we're going through it, what you think about keeping the tension on your bicep throughout, apart from the last exercise, at that point you can use the cheat to get out a few more reps. It's what's called a mechanical drop set. We're going from the hardest variation, getting easier as we go. So palms up first, much, much harder on your bicep. Once that's fatigued after six reps, hopefully, we're going to go a hammer curl, which is a little bit easier. And then the last one, the cheat curl, is going to finish you off. So 18 reps in total. Connor's going to show you how it's done properly. Working set for Connor, 15 kilo dumbbells. See if you can beat that at home. Make sure that you keep the coaching cues that I've used and the technique exactly the same as what Connor's going to do here. Where you go. So shoulder blades on nip back throw. He's not going too high at the top. Squeeze control down, squeeze these tries in the bottom. Full range every time, no half reps. Make sure you do it properly. Black rock. He's pushing himself back into the bench. He's not letting his hips slide forward. Probably the next one. Shoulder blades in the back, squeeze these tensor abs. Good, keep your elbows to your side. Good. Nice and powerful on the hammer curl, you should be stronger here. Remember it's a mechanical drop set. That should be your hardest, a little bit easier. Two curls at the end to finish them off. Good lad, squeeze. Good. Four second descent on the two curls. One, two, three, four. Little pause, get them set again, flip them up. One, two, Three, four, go. Keep that chest forward, shoulders nip back. You need to keep your shoulder blades nip back. Use these up the back to keep it nice and tight. Keep yourself up to the side. Get the tension there on the way down. Good. Again, up. Craft. This is what you'll get at the end. That's a cheat curl. Don't worry about it. You're going to get a couple of reps like that. That means you're using a good weight. Go over the swing. Good. Left Relax. Down. Drop on there. That shows you how hard it can and should be. You shouldn't be using light weight. It's 18 reps in total. Pick a weight that's heavy for you on a curl. It's going to get a little bit easier with a hammer curl. And the cheek curl at the end should be like that. It's called a cheek curl. Everything I do normally is all about technique, about getting the, getting the lift right. This is something where I'm giving you the very definite idea and purpose of throwing it up to get the eccentric on the way down. So don't worry about using that swing. That's the whole point of a cheek curl. Finish it off with the eccentric movement, and that's that. In terms of when to do these, end of your workout, finish your biceps off, biceps torture, six reps of each exercise, three times through, done.